There's bad music, okay music, good music, and then there's extraordinary music. One night I was in bed watching YouTube videos and I find a video by Tony Sukar and there's this guy playing the piano with him, improvising. I say, who is this Cuban guy? The levels of cortisol and adrenaline start exploding in my veins and I couldn't sleep anymore. It was something different. <laughs> Today, 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 I am thrilled because I have here with me Kemuel Roy. Hi, Kemuel. Hi, Ruben. I'm super happy to have you here with me today. This is an honor for me. I have a few questions for you. Question yes. number one, which part of Cuba are you from? I was born in a, in a city. It's a, it's a big city in the, right in the middle of the island and the name of the city is Camagüey. Camagüey, of course. Don't go anywhere because I have another amazing musician. One of my favorite salsa and timba singers from Cuba is Isaac Delgado and I've been following since the beginning. Once I had the amazing opportunity to meet him personally, one of the first bass players who play with him is Alain Perez. Alain Perez I discover after that he wasn't only a good bass player but he is a guitar player, he's a percussion player, he's a singer, a composer, an arranger, a music producer. He's an exceptional, another exceptional musician. The other day, he released a video. It called my attention one person that was playing the saxophone in his video. His name is Luis Garcia, so I start searching him here and there, and then I have the honor to have with me today Luis Garcia. Luis. Es, es, es un gran honor tenerte aquí conmigo hoy. Muchas gracias por tu tiempo y, y por estar aquí conmigo hoy en, en, en mi canal. Gracias Rubén por esta tremenda y genial invitación. Luis, ¿de qué parte de Cuba eres? Nací en Matanzas, la eh, ciudad de los puentes. Estuve poco tiempo en, en esa ciudad, por lo que no puedo recordar bien ese tema de, de la infancia allí en, en, en Matanzas. Kimwell, can you tell us a little bit about your professional formation? Where did you study, uh, people you play with, etc.? My first steps with the music began when I was four years old. My mom tells me that I, I, I used to, to get all the, the pots from the kitchen. And while she was cooking and, and listening to the radio and start drumming, few blocks from our house there was a, a piano teacher this old lady that she was amazing and she my mom asked her if she, if she would be willing to give me some piano classes and at this time I was only four years old so it was you know it, it was kind of difficult my mom also asked the drummer from our church if he would be willing to start teaching me some rhythms and he also agreed to do it so I have some memories of getting a few drums lessons later on when I was seven the church asked my parents to move to a bigger city by the name of Ciego de Avila and I was able to audition to enter to this school of music. That was when I really began my my training as a classical musician. At the same time of this, I was also doing a second career. So I was doing a major as a classical piano player and I was also doing a major as a, as a drummer. A drummer both, okay. An amazing experience because I was able to bring all those rhythmic ideas Absolutely. that I learned from my drums lessons to the piano. Yes. And it has been a huge influence on my playing. Even nowadays, I, when I play the piano, I think about drums the whole time. Also during this time, my parents in the church, they needed a piano player. I gotta tell you, it, it was very scary. The first Sunday morning when I play in, in church, I only knew only I only knew how to play in C major. <laughs> so later on, at the, uh, when I was 12 years old, my my family, my parents, and my sister, we moved to to the United States. 
here in the United States, uh, I kept doing all my, my education, you know, I, I went to high school, later on I went to college. With the group that I was playing at, at the time, we were invited to go to the Umbria Jazz Festival Umbria, yeah. in Italy. It was an unbelievable experience. That day, I decided that I, that I, I wanted to become a jazz musician for the rest of my life. Wow. This time I was around 16, 17 years old. During this time I, I was already playing with a few musicians here in Miami. I was able to to play with a few singers, people that are very, very renowned in Cuba as Malena Burkes. During this time, I also got an invitation to do a few concerts with another legend from Cuba. I admired him so much. His name is Isaac Delgado. It was another school for me because Isaac is, is a Cuban music like timba, <laughs> which is totally the opposite of what I was doing with uh, Malena. One day, got a call from a dear friend of mine. Uh, his name is Felipe. And Felipe asked me if I were, were willing to, to do a tour in Europe with a legend from the island of Cuba, uh, Arturo Sandoval. Sadly, I had to say no because I was doing my finals in college. A year later, I get another call and this time was from, from his drummer. He asked me, hey, are you free this Friday? Yeah, sure, what's going on? He told me, well, we have a concert with, with Arturo Sandoval in Orlando and the piano player cannot make it. Can you do it? I said, yes. <laughs> that was an experience that really changed my life forever. Uh, with Arturo, I was so honored and blessed to tour with him for seven, eight years. And we toured all around the world. I was also blessed to record an album with him. The name of the album is Life at Josh's. When I finished playing with Arturo, I did a, a, a quick recording with a, an amazing a guitar player from from here, from United States, and his name is Al Di Miola. The name of the album is Opus, and later on we toured for about two years. It was a totally different approach from from what I was doing with Arturo, but I'm I mean. I'm extremely, I feel extremely blessed because I, I was able to explore the two worlds and, and learn from, from this, this type of playing and also learn from this type of playing. I was also doing my education, my bachelor's degrees and then I went uh, to the University of Miami, to the Frost School of Music in Miami. There I was able to do my master's degree. ¿Dónde estudiaste música eh, en Cuba y con quién has trabajado allá? Estudié música en la escuela Alfonso Pérez Isaac. Regreso de nuevo entonces de Santi Espíritus a Matanzas. Ahí comienzan mis primeros pasos con mi padre, saxofonista también, mi tío, pianista. Cuando termino ahí me incorporo a la escuela de Camagüey, una excelente escuela Hago un énfasis entre la Escuela de Matanzas y la Escuela de Camagüey. Eh, hago un énfasis eh, en el medio por la banda municipal de Santi Espíritus. Quise hacer ese énfasis porque no? fue en mi, en mi vida, en mi manera como intérprete, súper importante. Las bandas de, de música son una escuela. Yo, yo, yo trabajé en una banda de música, eh, fui el director de una banda de música en Puerto Padre, de la banda de música de Puerto Padre, y eso para mí fue una escuela increíble, ¿cómo no? En Cuba trabajé entre Matanzas y Varadero con bandas que tuviera que ver eh, relacionado con el jazz. Toqué con un gran maestro del jazz, el maestro Miguelón, que siempre ha estado vinculado con el tema del jazz y le estoy muy agradecido. Aprendí muchísimo con este maestro. También cubrí en algunas ocasiones de manera fija, si mal no recuerdo, por un año en el Tropicanas, en el Teatro Bajo las Estrellas de Matanza. Eh, estuve un tiempo ahí también compartiendo con excelentes músicos. Eh, eh, sabes que Cuba es, es una... 
es una isla, es un, es un lugar donde se comparte con muchos, se comparten con, con muchos maestros. Ahí estuve trabajando en ese, en ese tiempo. How can we find you? Do you have a website? Maybe a place you do lessons online, etc. It's very easy. It's, it's my name. <laughs> okay. Gemuelroic.com. Excellent. There's one part that says masterclass. El álbum Equilibrio, impecable, muy bien hecho. Dime un poco dónde lo grabaste y, y, y las personas, los músicos que participaron en este increíble proyecto. El álbum Equilibrio es mi primer álbum como solista. Es un álbum generalmente que abarca todo lo que tiene que ver con la música afrocubana, esa transculturación por la que vivió nuestro país, Cuba, África, Francia, España. Y eso hizo una mezcla que a mí como intérprete me, me ha llamado mucho la atención, por lo que traté en este álbum, traté de, de abarcar. No sin antes dar gracias al gran compositor Edgar Vero, un compositor contemporáneo a nuestros días. El disco Equilibrio se grabó en la Habana, Cuba, un proceso en la Egren, que estoy muy agradecido por, por toda la cantidad de músicos, Alejandro Falcón, el maestro Alain Pérez, que es el quien produce este disco, el grupo Osaín del Monte, Alain Pérez tocando el bajo, el maestro Alexander Abreu, cantante, trompetista, arreglista. Fue una, col una colaboración, Rubén, de muchas personas. Eh, sin ellos esto no, no hubiese podido escucharse, no se hubiese podido complementar la mezcla que yo realmente quería en mi música. El disco de Equilibrio se graba la segunda parte en los estudios Samuel Formel, un gran eh, baterista cubano, hijo del gran Formel, director de los Bambán, Bam, fundador de los Bambán, Bam, eh, a quien le estoy muy agradecido. En ese estudio se logra terminar este disco ya y decidí llamar otra cantidad de músicos, en este caso como es eh, Rainer Pérez, hermano del gran Alain Pérez también, con, con otro lenguaje, con el jazz que le presta a, a mi música otro, otro sentido y otro lenguaje. Y esta, esta unión de la familia de los Pérez, de Samuel Formel, que también está acá inmersa en la parte rítmica, Horacio el Negro, Ronda y Barredo, un gran baterista cubano, eh, baterista actual de muchas bandas, entre ellos Iraquere, Delvis Ponce, quien también me ayudó a producir, a citar estos amigos, estos maestros humildes, representantes de la gran música cubana internacional. Now I know I know you released an album because I, I, I follow you now. But what can you tell us? Tell us about the, the, the new album you released, uh, the name and if you have any other albums and where can we where can we listen to that album? Where can we buy that album? Right before the, the pandemic, I got into the studio with uh, my band, which is a quartet. The name of the drummer is Hilario Bell. The percussionist is Jose Majito Aguileras. And the upright uh, player, bass player, his name is uh, Low Ringo. We got into the studio and we, we went there for two days and we record my album. And the name of the album is Genesis. Not only I was blessed to, to feature these amazing musicians from my quartet, but I also was blessed to, to have a few featuring artists like the jazz legend Chris Porter, the saxophonist, also another legend Randy Brecker. From the island of Cuba, we had Alain Perez. Alain Perez is an unbelievable, unbelievable musician, but also an unbelievable singer. And also we had Julito Padrón on the trumpet and featuring artists also a group of brass players, it's a quartet. They go by the name of Mercy Brass. And also the, the unbelievable Ed Calle. Ed Calle is an amazing saxophonist also, as well as Milton Sesenton. Oh, we had a lot of people. Milton Sesenton, he's an orchestra conductor and uh, composer and he also participated in one of the tracks as well as Joel Hernandez. It, it is really a dream come true this album. You can you can buy the, the physical copy. We have a few copies still and you can buy them on the on my website on kemuelroy.com or you can stream the album on Spotify, on iTunes, on YouTube. There are a few videos 
Oh, I also want to mention, uh, Ruben, that not only this album, that if you go to Spotify and iTunes and all these places, I have there also the other albums that I have recorded in the past. Gracias. This is a piano solo album. This other album, singles. On this album, you can you can listen to El Manicero. And this is actually the first album that I that I record. And this is the name of the album is Let There Be Joy. Let There Be Joy. Luis, en este momento, ¿qué estás haciendo en la música y con, y con quién estás trabajando? ¿Y cuáles son tus proyectos actuales? En este momento, eh, estoy en Estados Unidos. Estoy trabajando generalmente con producciones que tengan que ver con grabaciones. Eso es lo que me llama mucho la atención. Y he tenido la tremenda suerte de estar trabajando con el maestro Robert Vilera entre otros maestros. Me llamó mucho la atención tener la, la, la posibilidad de trabajar con personas serias, ¿sabes? El maestro Robert Vilera es un gran exponente de todo lo que tiene que ver con la música actual contemporánea, eh, no solamente de salsa, sino también con otro tipo de género, con el jazz latin. Es un excelente productor y, pues bueno, me gustaría eh, tener la posibilidad el día de mañana trabajar con el maestro Gonzalo Rubalcaba, independientemente que estar trabajando con Robert Vilera es un gran experimento y una gran experiencia musical entre otros maestros. También tengo un proyecto, a, además del de tema del, del disco, eh, jóvenes, talentosos, que, se, que nos acercamos todos para, para poder trabajar. Y este proyecto se llama Equilibrio, eh, de jóvenes quienes los integran, son excelentes jóvenes, son personas que tienen eh, mucha ansiedad de búsqueda. Eh, esos muchachos eh, son increíbles, muy jóvenes todos, a quienes les estoy muy agradecido por todo su tiempo, por todo el ensayo, por todo lo que dicen a la hora de tocar. La pregunta es related to, to, to the COVID-19, to the pandemic. I would like to know what has been the impact on your work. And moreover, what are you doing uh, to compensate the lack of concerts, etc.? Nobody was expecting this to happen, right? And not only me, it forced us, all like all musicians and every industry in the world, we had to rethink the way how we do how how we do things. At the same time, it has been a very very good time for me, uh, Ruben. I, I I gotta say because I have first of all I have been able to spend a lot of time with uh, my family, my wife, my. I took it. Also, I have been able to dedicate a lot more time to practice piano. Also, uh, from the composing aspect, I have been doing a lot of writing, a lot of writing. Also, I have been doing a lot of productions, recording for different artists, you know, not only jazz, but also pop music, church music. Uh, Latin music, you know, salsa, merengue. In general, it has been an amazing blessing for me, you know, be being home this year. I, I, I gotta say, I miss a lot. I miss a lot going out and, and performing live concerts. And I really hope that we get back to, to the time, to, you know, to perform live music as it was a, a year ago because it's not it's, it's not about the fina financial you know it's not about the payments or you know working it's about the blessing of getting to the stage and making music in front of an audience okay well thank you so much it's been a pleasure for me all the best all the very best for your future for you for your family for your band god bless thank Ruben, you thank you so much once again it is a blessing to be here Luis mi hermano muchas gracias muchas gracias esto ha sido realmente una bendición para mí tenerte a ti y a Kemuel a los dos en, en mi canal muchas gracias Rubén por este momento que, que me has dado para hablar de mi trabajo estoy muy agradecido y también a tu comunidad millones de gracias por tu tiempo por estar aquí conmigo hoy y te deseo todo lo mejor del mundo para ti, tu familia y tu grupo y todos tus proyectos en el futuro, hermano. Así que gracias y nos vemos.